Hi, in this video, I would like to show you how to use the JQL to get on the tickets in our active screen in Jira system. Okay, let's get started. Assuming this is the Jira project I'm working on, the website Revan. And in speed one, this is the active screen for now. And I have a nine tickets in speed one, four tickets in to do, and three tickets in progress, and two tickets in already done. So now I will use the JQL to filter all of the tickets in active screen one. Let's open the filter in advanced issues. You can see all of the tickets for now. Let me switch to the basic option and I will only filter the tickets in the website revamp here. We have a 18 tickets in the website revamp project. And you take a look into the table below. We have a sprint column. It has the nine tickets in speed one. So now I will update the JQL query here. To those are we getting the nine ticket in speed one here. Let me switch back to the JQL mode. And here I will update the query and and I will have a screen in open screen. I click on start button. Yeah. So you see here I can guess all of the nine ticket in speed one, yeah. So when you are using the open screen function in the query, that means you want to just filter all of the tickets that were assigned to the screen and that screen were started but had not been completed, yeah. And so now I have speed one in active, that means when you execute this query, it will only filter on the ticket in speed one. Here. Yeah. Let me come back to the bot and I will complete this screen. Yeah. I will complete this one and I will move seven issue who are in completed into a new screen. Yeah. Let me come back to the project and you see here we have screen two had been printed just now. Yeah. And we have seven issues. Let me add some more issue into Spring 2. Yeah. Now we have 10 issue. Let me start this print. Yeah. I will have a three issue in progress. And seven is still in to do. Yeah. We have nothing it done. Okay. So now let me come back to the JQL query. Let me duplicate this one because I want to keep this one for some comparison. Duplicate this one in new window. Yeah. And when I execute the query again, you can see we can search all of the issue in Sprint 2. Yeah, we have 10 issues. You take it into Sprint column. We have Speed 1, Sprint 2. Yeah, because we have some tasks here still not completed in Speed 1, so that it will move from Speed 1 into Sprint 2. That means when I take a look into Sprint column, I can see we have some tickets belong to the sprint one and sprint two, yeah, because it's still not complete in the speed one, so that we have to move it from speed one to sprint two. Okay, the so same thing. In the future, if you have some more sprint in the project, when you execute the query, it will get the all of the tickets in the active sprint. I mean the current sprint, yeah. Okay, I hope this video will have fun for you. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you guys in the next video.